Good afternoon. I'm Carlos Romero Talamas, and I'm uh, an assistant professor in mechanical engineering. And as soon as my slide clicks <laughs> in uh, five, four, three, two, one, almost there. So there it is. Um, obviously, the grand challenge is to provide energy from fusion. That is controlled thermonuclear fusion. And we do it in my laboratory um, with the help of st uh, students, undergraduates and graduates, and a postdoc. Um, oh. Oh, that's mine. Yeah, that's, sorry. It, so we consume a lot of electricity on planet Earth. Every year we spend more than one and a half trillion dollars on electricity, and a lot of that comes from polluting sources. It will be great to have something that is non-polluting. Uh, renewable energy has made huge strides, but it's just not fast enough. Nuclear fission could replace uh, those polluting sources, but you have a problem. So enter controlled thermonuclear nu uh, fusion energy, uh, imagine a source where the fuel is abundant um, everywhere on Earth, not uh, dependent on geopolitical. It's uh, very cheap, um, not highly radioactive, and uh, could be available to everyone. The only problem is it has to be at 100 million degrees to work. <laughs> it's just, uh, just a, a small problem. Um, so we can contain, at, at that temperature, everything becomes a plasma, an ionized gas that can conduct electricity. But magnetic fields can contain plasmas. The leading concept to contain uh, a fusion reaction is the so-called tokamak. The problem is tokamaks are huge. Uh, there, are, there are big experiments. There's one in particular that will show fusion energy. Um, but we need alternatives. So in my laboratory, we're investigating alternative concepts to confinement of those temperatures using something called the magnetic rotating mirror, where, where the plasma rotates extremely fast, supersonically. Um, but we use Dusty plasmas. Dust is another type. Dusty plasmas are another type of plasmas. And we do that experimentally. And we create our own magnetic fields, which are extremely high. Um, we um, are working on the technology of the magnet, as well as, as on the physics of the dust. We're also working on numerical research for high temperature plasmas on a concept that's called the spheromac, which is a magnetized type plasma that looks like a tokamak, the one you saw before, but much smaller, much simpler, and hopefully much cheaper. Uh, and that uh, our simulations have led to the idea that we can make something um, reliable and, and, and steady, and we're, we're looking to build the next experiment to show the simulations are right. Thank you.